the lecture two uh, is a little bit, little bit further information provided uh, in the area of doctrine of Trinity. Okay. Now our question is this: How do we know Christian God exists in three persons? That is our question, because many people uh, will ask that question. And they will ask you, where in the Bible teach us there are three persons existed? Sometimes it's not easy for us to present the biblical uh, teachings on these issues. Although there are clear uh, evidences found in the Bible, <clears throat> so I will give you at least eight, eight presentations okay, in answering the questions on three persons, three persons, in the Bible. So don't forget these eight presentations. Many, all of these eight presentations have been revealed to you in different ways all the time in your Christian lives and studying the Word of God. So I try to give you these eight presentations in a one pocket, one system. So are you with me? Okay, now, then, in order to tell people, okay, Christian God exists in three persons, how do we know? First, the biblical revelation is this. When God created Adam, when God created Adam, here in Genesis 1.26, in Genesis 1.26, is very, very interesting expressions recorded in the Bible. Now, the Trinity God said this, let us, is a plural, let us create Adam in our image, okay, in our likeness, our likeness, expressing in plural, okay, denotation, connotations, us, us. Often people have missed that point, okay. Although it's one God, but expressed in multiple, multiple nature of our God. Us, us. Don't forget that. Where? In Genesis 1, 26. That's the first point that you have to memorize. Second point is this. After the fall of Adam, after the fall of Adam, Adam and Eve tried to regain the eternal life. After the fall of Adam, Adam got realized himself that he has lost the eternal life. So after that, he endeavored himself to regain the eternal life by way of entering into the Garden of Eden and eating the fruit of the tree of life. Thereby, he could regain the eternal life. 
Okay. With that intention revealed and Trinity God expressed their reaction to Adam's intention. In their expressions, he expressed here in Genesis 3, 22. He said, they, Trinity God, have discussed that. He said, Adam and Eve attempt to, they attempt to be like us, he said. He wants to be, they want to be like us. Thereby, let us send cherubim. Okay, and surrounded with the uh, flames of fire, flames of fire to, pre to prevent them, to prevent them from the regaining of their eternal life. So, in that endeavor, Trinity God were they were involved in that prevention process. See? Using us. Us. Isn't it interesting? Now. And number th three. Number three is the interesting part. Genesis 11 for 7. That is the e event happened at the Tower of Babel, Tower of Babel, that is chapter 11 of Genesis story. Okay? Now, Trinity God has discussed on this issue, and they have come to conclusion that let us go down to the Tower of the Bible, let us, he said, let us. And by the time people used to use one language, but let us disperse their language, okay, so that they could not communicate each other. Because of that event, God has created all different kinds of uh, language systems among the tribes. Okay? So, Trinity God was involved in this language dispersions. He said, let us, let us, so how many, how many biblical references have I given to you? Adam's creation, fall of Adam, and Tower of Babel. Don't forget this sequential, sequential content. Got it? I have remembered all this in a sequence in my mind, in my heart. That's why I am able to teach you. Praise the Lord. You are my disciples. Those who are studying out of these videos, please memorize all this and share this information for your blessings, for God's enjoyment, his, sat his satisfaction. When our Lord Jesus satisfied with you, without your request, he will give you blessings. He will bless your family. You don't have to ask. You make him happy and satisfied. Now, number four. At the visit of the throne of God by Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 6 story is this. All of a sudden, 
In his vision, Isaiah was lifted up to the throne of God. That is Isaiah chapter 6, a very famous chapter. Okay. At the time, Trinity God spoke to Isaiah. Okay. By saying this, whom we will send for us, for us. Whom we will send for us. You see, plural. And Isaiah replied back to them by saying this, send me. You know that, okay? So it's a plural, plural. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8, expressing three persons, three persons of Christian God. That's a number four reference. Now, number five reference coming, now entering to New Testament. Up until here, up until here, here is Old Testament. Now, New Testament. New Testament. When Jesus was taking the water baptism by the John the Baptist. Matthew chapter 3, 16, 17. Okay, when 100% human Jesus took the water baptism by the John the Baptist, okay, at that particular moment, Trinity God appeared in the event. In what ways? Now, Son God, now standing there, taking water baptism, and Father God, okay, expressing his voice by way of this. Father God saying this, this is my son. See, the voice is Father God's voice. This is my son. Okay? Then also Matthew expressed the Holy Spirit descended down as a form of dove. Holy Spirit was descending down in a form of what? Dove. D-O-V-E. Clearly, Matthew expressed three persons of God in this way at the water baptism of Jesus Christ by John the Baptist. Isn't it interesting? Now, the next issue is that after the three years public ministries, he died on the cross and he resurrected Jesus. Died on the cross and he resurrected. After the resurrection, he had spent 40 days before his ascension. Before his ascension. Okay. Prior to his ascension, okay, during that period, prior to his ascension, he has given five great commissions to his disciples. Five great commissions to his disciples during those 40 days. Now, during the about Middle of the 40 days, one of the five great commissions, which is the most important 
most famous well-known great commission is recorded in Matthew 28:19. Matthew 28:19 that is one of the five great commissions. He said this, "Go, my disciples, you make disciples in the Roman Empire. You make disciples in the Roman Empire, all the nations, all the tribal people, okay, the Gentiles, not Jews. And pantata ethne, ethne means not a Europe, uh, not not a Jewish people. Ethne means it's a Gentiles. It's a Roman Empire's Gentile people. It's in Greek word, in Greek word, laos. That's a, that's a, that's a Jew. And it, this is a Greek word. Laos means Jew. Okay? And in the plural, laoi means it's a plural. That's many Jews. It's a plural. Laos is a singular. Jew. It's a singular. It's a plural. Oe. Laos is a os is a singular. Oe is Greek word. It's always plural. And now, this is Jewish people. Now, Gentiles, calling system is a different. In a Greek word, Gentiles, it calls Greek word, it's ethnos, O-S. That is just a singular. Singular Gentile. Ethnos, us. But it's plural. It's ethne. Ethne. That's uh, many Gentiles. It's a plural. Got it? Here in Great Commission, over here, in Matthew wrote in Greek word, he said this, Panta, ta, ethne. Panta means all. Panta means all. Okay. Ta means in English it's it's a the. Okay. Etne means what? Etne over here. What? Etne means here. Many. Gentiles. Okay? So in your Bible, you say, all the tribes, tribes, or all the nations. This is a very important concept right here he did not say he did not say panta 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 to not to i'm sorry panta ta <clears throat> okay panta ta he did not say panta ta huh? la o e la o e in greek words end is kai 
Kai means his end. He did not say, Pantata laoi kai etune. Would you write that down? Jesus did not say, Pantata, Pantata laoi means many Jews, and kai etune. He did not say that. You write that down you, when you teach people. Okay? He said, instead, Pantata, he did not say this, Pantata etune, all the tribes. That means all the Gentiles. Okay? Not Jewish people. Now, being a Jewish, 12 disciples, okay, their primary task is not to convert okay, Jewish people to make entire Jewish community Christian community. Only few Limited, num limited number of Jews will be Christians. Limited number of Jews. Very chosen number of Jews. Out of those Jews, because the gospel comes the first to Jews, but very limited number, of, very limited number of Jews will become a Christians. Out of the, those Jews, okay, they will take this commission that they will go out to the entire Roman Empire to convert at the ne, at the ne, not la o i, because it was God's plan to make la o i. Spiritually blind, not able to see Jesus. It was God's plan. Up until when? Up until the near of the second coming of Jesus. It was God's plan. So during the church period, hardly we can find Jewish Christians. It was God's plan. When this commission was AD, it was AD 30, this great commission. Okay. Now, in AD 70, AD 70 is the year of the destruction of the nation of Israel and Jerusalem temple. And also, dispersion of Jewish people around the Roman Empire. Nation was destroyed, and people got dispersed. We call them diaspora. You have heard that, right? Diaspora in 70. So Israel is all dispersed, okay, starting from AD 70. And they will be spiritually blind from that time on. Up until when? Second coming of Jesus. You see, the nation got independent, 1948. That's the sign of second coming of Jesus. Okay? And also, today we have a Messianic Jews coming.
messianic Jews appeared, that's the sign of second coming. See? So from this long period here, from 70 all the way to this period, this period is, I would call, the Gentile harvest period. Gentile harvest period. Got it? Based on this great commission, based on this great commission, Jesus told disciples, Panta ta et ne, not Panta ta la o i kai et ne. I hope you understand this. <clears throat> okay? Now, in this great commission, as you are all aware of that, Jesus commanded his disciples, you baptize, you, you baptize those at the net. <clears throat> you baptize these at the net in the name of Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit expressed Trinity God as more in very concrete, okay, vivid, vivid way, concise way, the existence of three personal, three persons in Trinity God. Jesus expressed not only his name alone, okay, he told his disciples that you baptize. Baptize means you convert them. You, 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 let, you make them change their religion to Christianity. How? In the name of Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen? Clearly it teaches Existence of three persons of Trinity God. Now, the number seven, <clears throat> Paul expressed in his benediction to the Corinthian Christians, Paul expressed which we often use that benediction at the end of our service. Okay? In the name of what? In the name of, the, by the grace of Jesus, and the love of Father God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Remember that? Those, he started with Jesus. You know, grace of Jesus, and love of the Father God, and the fellowship of the communion, communion of the Holy Spirit. Some translation calls a fellowship because the original word is a koinonia. Koinonia. Okay, yeah. Have you heard the koinonia? That's in the Greek word, koinonia. Some translated the fellowship. Some say communication. So, name of you know, three persons' name right there. Okay, grace of Jesus and love of Father God and koinonia of Holy Spirit. See, three persons. Now, lastly, last time our pastor Joel mentioned this. This is a very, very important Bible verses. 
This is First John 5, 7. Very important part. Now, John, you know, who was specialized in, in deity of Jesus. John was John's gospel and his letters, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John. Not only that, Revelation. John was focusing on the deity of Jesus, not humanity of Jesus. Deity of, he was specialized in Jesus is God. Okay? So all his letters expressed that identity of Jesus Christ as a 100% God. That was John's specializations, <clears throat> specialty, as opposed to other writers. Now, in his teachings, okay, he said this, there are three, he said that, okay, there are three that bear record in heaven. In heaven, Trinity uh, names recorded in heaven that Father is one person, and he said the word and capital letter W, okay, with, with the third. Okay, the word John said in John 1 1, the capital letter word logos symbolizes who? Jesus. Okay, now John said this three are in heaven. First is Father, okay, second is Son, Jesus, and third is Holy Spirit. He said that. Okay. Not only that, he ended up with this. These three are one, he said. It clearly says the Trinity. Amen? So one God, it's one God. He said one means one God. But exist in three persons. One God exists in three persons. First John five seven. Because of this, we have learned this. Okay. In the creation of Adam, let us have, let us, let us. And after the fall of Adam, let us, let us. At the Tower of Babel, let us, let us. Now, even Isaiah to Isaiah, who is going to represent us? And actual at the baptism of Jesus, three persons were okay. Come, three persons were existed at that particular time, and also in the great commission of Jesus. Actually, Jesus mentioned. Three persons of God. Not only that, Paul used that three person theology in his benediction. Finally, John expressed that though the three persons are Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, but these are one God. Isn't it convincing to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. 
Amen. God bless your teachings.